some water! Do you hear me? Bottled water! You're nine o'clock's here. Thank you. Show him in. Dr. Lord. Mr. McNaughton. Thank you very much for coming so quickly. Well, your sister Addie's uh, got brass ones. <sighs> I never noticed. And I would have come regardless. R.J. Gannon always said that you were one of his favorite broads. <sighs> How very nice to hear. So, what can I do for you? You can get me the hell out of here. Your sister says you're only in for contempt. Now, the judge will let you out by tomorrow morning. No, no. Tomorrow will be too late. My foster daughter, Langston, is about to be dragged out of the country by a man who is claiming to be her uncle. So I hear. I have got to stop him. And R.J. says that you are an expert at uh, this kind of thing. What do you want me to do? Bust you out tonight? I want you to fix it. What is it you're really asking me to do? I admire your directness, Mr. McNaughton. It's more like confusion. I really don't know what it is that you want. All right, I'll keep it simple for you. I've got a problem. A big problem, and it's a lot bigger than the fact that I've been unfairly tossed in this jail. Okay. There is an evil man. He's calling himself Ray Montes, and he's convinced everybody that he's a blood relative of my foster daughter, Langston's. He stopped my uh, adoption of her, and he managed to get himself declared her legal guardian, and now his intention is to take her to Colombia. And how does the kid feel about this? She is horrified. And I... I want to stop this deviant from taking her out of the United States of America. Come on. You must know how to work the system. And you have enough cash to hire a fancy lawyer. You don't need me. No, 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 no. Um, Mr. McNaughton... I think I need you very much. You still haven't told me for what. I've already tried the court system, Mr. McNaughton. That's how I ended up in jail. It's time for lockdown. Let's get moving. Oh, come on. A couple of more minutes. My friend here is very lonely. Like I care. Come on. Have a heart. Two minutes. Quite the gentleman, eh? Yeah. My foster daughter Langston's custody has been awarded to a man who is pretending to be a relative. Because in our court system, blood trumps love. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But what is it you want me to do? Isn't it obvious? I need you to protect my daughter from a criminal. How? What do you want me to do, hide her? Actually, I was hoping you could come up with a more permanent solution. And it has to be before tomorrow morning. It's that simple. You know, once I cross that line, there's no going back. Don't you understand? I have to stop that deviant from taking my daughter out of the country. Because once he... Once he gets hold of her, heaven knows what's going to happen to her, and I wouldn't be able to live with all, myself. All, 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 all right, all right. I know you care about the kid. But why don't you sleep on it, okay? If you feel the same way tomorrow, tell your sister. I'll come back. God!
story will fix this somehow.